Solid Waste Federal Receivers Gershman, Brickner and Bratton believe the Calvo administration is deliberately withholding information in an effort to protect the governor from public scrutiny. This is in response to tax credits that were paid out to the original landowners of the Lazon landfill. Why do you think they're uh, refusing to provide this information? Well, the only thing I can conclude is that they really want to shield the governor. Didn't want the public to understand, I suppose, the uh, amount of money being paid by the government of Guam to the governor's family business. It is a large sum of money. The compensation is for the condemnation of property that is now being used as a landfill. After years of dispute, in 2012, the Superior Court ruled in the landowner's favor and ordered a payment of $28 million plus interest. In 2014, the government agreed to use tax credits as compensation. GBB Principal Associate David Manning believes as the federal receiver, GBB is entitled to details of that agreement, but he says the governor's office has refused to give it up. We got information from, from both the office of the governor at an aggregate level, and for some reason the office of the governor even declined to tell us what the what percentage of the property each party owned. Mm -hmm. But that was a matter of public record already in the... The governor's office contends that this information is private and protected by federal privacy laws. Manning says that may very well be the case, but he's not asking for sensitive information, such as tax documents. So because not much was provided to GBB, Manning said they could only deduce the details of the settlement in at least two scenarios. Two of the nine former landowners, Al Israel and Oxford Properties, were left out because of reports that they don't want tax credits for compensation. Based on $10.9 million in credits that was approved, in the first scenario, the governor's office would give the bulk of it to the six remaining landowners before paying Calvo's insurance underwriters. If they chose to do the opposite thing, which would be the other, the other extreme, they would compensate fully the Calvo Insurance Company. Mm -hmm. And the balance of it would be spread among the remaining owners. The first scenario, or Scenario A, has $5.7 million paid out to the Calvo family. Scenario B is at $8.3 million. Could there be other scenarios as well? Sure, it could be somewhere in the middle of mm -hmm. any of those. Governor's legal counsel Sandra Miller told PNC that the district court had given them until March 19th to respond. She says the receiver's concerns will be addressed.